in the last video we've learned about continuity at a point and how to find or how to determine if a function is continuous at a point by looking at the graph the question is what if the graph is not given but instead it's the function itself that's given how do we know if a function is continuous at a point for example let's say uh, the function is f of x is equal to x plus 5 and the question is is this continuous at x equals 1 a function is continuous at a point if the limit of f of x as x approaches c okay in this case our c is that value is equal to f of c okay if the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c then the function is continuous at c so therefore what we will do first is try to find the limit of the function at x equals c okay so here in this case again here c is equal to 1 okay that's our c for this uh, for this problem okay so let's try to find the limit of f of x in this case our f of x is x plus 5 so just x plus 5 as x approaches 1 okay um, can we perform can we do direct substitution well yes so we can just plug that in so 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 okay so the limit of x plus 5 as x approaches 1 is equal to 6 okay number 2 find f of c okay find f of c in this case f of 1 so f of 1 is equal to just plug in the value for x here so that's 1 so that's 1 plus 5 so that's just going to give us 6 okay so the limit of x plus 5 as x approaches 1 is 6 f of 1 is equal to 6 we can write the limit of x plus 5 as x approaches 1 is equal to f of 1 and so since they are equal then we say that so therefore uh, f of x equals x plus 5 is continuous at x equals 1 okay so that's the conclusion that we can make let's look at another example so again perform the test so can we just plug in 0 can we perform direct substitution well yes so just plug in 0 so this is 0 squared is 0 minus 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 just evaluate f of our x or our c is 0 so f of 0 so that's just uh, 0 squared uh, minus 0 and then plus 2 that also gives us 2 okay so the limit and um, f of 0 are both equal to 2 okay so therefore f of x equals x squared plus x plus 2 is continuous at x equals 0 okay let's have another example f of x equals 1 over x let's see if that's continuous at x equals 0 so the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 okay can we just plug in 0 for x and we use direct substitution if we do that then that will give us 1 over 0 which is undefined so we can't use direct substitution okay um, uh, what can we do uh, we can look at the graph of 1 over x okay that's the graph of 1 over x and so if you look at x equals 0 it's here observe that there's no limit the limit does not exist because 
the function for on from the left side it goes negative infinity on the right side it goes positive infinity so there's no limit the limit does not exist for number two so that's f of zero is one over zero again one over zero is undefined so okay the limit does not exist f of zero is undefined and so what can we say well we can say that uh, the function therefore the function f of x equals 1 over x is not continuous at x equals 0 okay okay let's look at another function so is this function continuous at x equals 2 so um, again uh, we can first we will find the limit of the function so what's the limit x minus 3 x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 this one will cancel out and so we have limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 3 now we can plug in 2 and so that will give us 2 minus 3 which is negative 1 okay so the limit is negative 1 okay and then for the second we'll try to find f of c so to find f of 2 we're just going to plug in 2 for x um, so for the numerator we'll have 0 for the denominator we'll have 0 this one's undefined okay or indeterminate and so there's no value okay plugging in 2 for f of x will give us nothing okay it's not defined at that point and so since the limit and the function itself the value of the function at x equals 2 they're not the same then we can conclude that therefore um, f of x is not continuous at x equals 2 okay because the values of the limit and the function itself at x equals 2 are not the same okay for the last example we are going to look at a piecewise function and let's see if it's continuous at x equals 4 okay let's see so first is we want to find the limit of this function at x equals 4 so let's do that so for the left limit so that's 4 minus we are going to evaluate the function just we, we can just use uh, direct substitution here um, because our functions are polynomials so that's okay so we can use direct substitution but we have to be careful 4 minus are the values from the left of 4 so we're gonna use this okay so for the left limit we're gonna use x plus 1 so just plug in 4 there so 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 for the right hand limit so 4 from the right are values that are greater than 4 okay and so we're gonna use this okay so for the right hand limit we're gonna plug in 4 um, here okay so that would be 4 minus 4 is 0 0 squared is 0 plus 3 is 3 okay so therefore the right hand limit is equal to 3 okay um, so therefore what can we say so the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 does not exist okay does not exist so uh, should we continue the answer is no we don't have to continue because at this point we know that the limit does not exist so there's no point in you know in finding the 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 value of f of 4 okay because whatever that value is the limit does not exist already so uh, therefore here we can already conclude that uh, the function is not continuous at x equals 4 now if you want to find f of 4 you can do that so let's do that 
So for 2, f of 4, well, where is that? f of 4, so that's here because this is the domain where, uh, this is the domain that includes 4. Just plug in there, f of 4 is equal to 3. Okay? So f of 4 is equal to 3, but that does not matter because we know that the limit does not exist. 